Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying binomials by trinomials. There are a lot of methods out there on how to solve binomials and trinomials. This is the box method, and I think it's the easiest to remember. So this is what I teach. So when you recognize that we've got a binomial times a trinomial, go ahead and draw your box. And it's important that your box has two rows and three columns. So what we do is once you've drawn your box, you take your binomial and you're going to put it here and here. So your two terms. So your first term would go here and your second term, positive 9, would go here. Now you take your trinomial and you put each term above a box. So x squared would be my first term, negative 4x, and we do need to include that negative sign and 1. So what we want to do now, and this works the same as a Punnett square does in biology, but basically we want to take this x and multiply it by this x squared. Now remember this x has an understood exponent of 1 and we're multiplying here. So when we multiply straight across, remember that we want to add our exponents. So 1 plus 2 is x cubed. Now we move to the next box. So in this case we would do x times negative 4x. So that would give us negative 4x squared. Now we do x times 1, which is just x. Next we do 9 times x squared, which would be 9x squared and 9 times negative 4x, which would be negative 36x, and 9 times 1, easy enough, 9. Okay, so in this box method, our next step is to combine any like terms that we have. So in Math 1, when we do this, it's always going to end up being these two terms and these two terms. And we're going to combine those terms through adding. So I'm going to go ahead and write my first part, x cubed, and I'm going to write my final answer right over here. x cubed. There's nothing I can combine x cubed with, so I'm just going to go ahead and write that one. Next, I've got my x squared. So I've got 9x squared minus 4x squared. So 9 minus 4 is positive 5 x squared. Remember when we're adding or subtracting we keep the variable and exponent the exact same. Next we've got negative 36 x plus 1 x so that would be negative 35 x. And lastly I have my constant positive 9. There's nothing to combine that with so it just hangs out. Notice that I've written my answer in standard form which means I've got my highest exponent first, descending all the way down to my lowest exponent, and my constant last. So that would be my final answer. Let's look at a second example. So in this one you might notice that the trinomial is first and the binomial is second. That does not matter at all. Um, so just wanted to show you that you could write it this way or this way. It makes no difference. We still have the same placement in our box. So remember I'm going to put my two binomial terms here. So I've got 2x and positive 7. And now I put my three trinomial terms up top. So I've got 3x squared, negative 2x, and positive 3. So we're going to combine um, through multiplication. So 2x times 3x squared is going to give me 6x cubed. 2x times negative 2x will give me negative 4x squared. 2x times 3 would give me 6x. 7 times 3x squared would give me positive 21x squared. 7 times negative 2x would be negative 14x. And 7 times 3 would give me positive 21. 
So we'll go ahead, you'll notice it's the same case where our like terms are here and here. And now we're going to add those like terms together um, and write my final answer over here. So I'm going to start with my 6x cubed. Nothing to combine that with. Now I've got 21x squared. And this is technically plus negative 4x squared, which is the same thing as minus 4x squared. And one, one important thing to note is that I like to move left to right. So I do positive 21x squared minus 4x squared, but it really doesn't matter. You could also move top to bottom as well. Either way, you'll get the same answer. But I always like to move left to right like we read a book. So positive 21 minus 4 gives me positive 17x squared. Negative 14x plus 6x. Um, and that is going to give me, I'm sorry, JJ, I gotta check real quick. Oops. Okay. Sorry. And that is going to give me negative 8x. And then I last have my constant. There's nothing to combine my 21 with, so it'll just stay positive 21. Again, my answer is in standard form, which is so important. That is what we do when we multiply a binomial by a trinomial. So in my next video, we're going to look at some other examples. I'd like to do some more real life application type problems with some of this stuff. So hopefully that'll be up soon. This is Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.